Do this now. Are you ready? Are you ready, Louis? Louis? Ready. Is, Louis, ready, is Louis short for Louis or is it just Louis? Uh, uh, yeah, there's Louis, but I don't know who he is. <laughs> when I call my dog Louis, he knows he's in trouble. Ah. All right, here we go. I think all of us is know that. Oh shit, I just messed up the whole screen trying to drag across it because I'm awesome. Oh no. It's okay, I'm fixing it. Everybody's listening to us talk amongst ourselves like uh, they're not here. And they are here, and they're probably they're sick not there. of waiting. They're not there, they're not really there. <laughs> Alright, here we go. What's going on, friends? Oh, damn it. What's up? Tran- there it goes, what's going on, friends? Ah, <laughs> we're back. It is Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. The high end vape form is here. Swaggins will be here, but he's a little late today. He had a meeting. Who schedules a meeting on Sunday for you? Like, listen up, employers. <laughs> I don't care. Sunday meetings are unacceptable. Be aware. Um, exactly. Stan, uh, yeah. Stan is on your case. Yes. Anyway. Make a union. Grab something you enjoyed vape on. Get you, I got lots of caffeine. This is like cup number three, which is like mm-hmm. number six. Uh, grab caffeine. Get yourself in the mood. I mean, if you're on the other side of the pond, grab yourself a beer. All good. It's Sunday evening, right? Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. My name's Stan, and you have found the Tenacious TX Vapes channel. Oh, whoops. I, I guess I got to cue this up. <laughs> <laughs> No fucking fictitious character, no pal. I know. Of course not. It's okay. 
we are slowly but surely getting over it. Um, I'm having a feeling that Pal is probably not going to come back. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've, I've come to that conclusion in my head. You know what? It seems like the stream may be hanging up a little bit. Why is this happening? Is it? Yeah. My um. Hold on a second. Oh, it is. Yeah, I see it. Is it bad? It's choppy. Is it? You know what? It's probably because I switched the output to 1080. Crap. Well, hold on. Now, now we're on screen talking. It's um. Is it choppy up. though? Let me know if it's choppy, guys. Let me mute the uh. Is it bad? It's choppy. Oh, it seems like it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. All right, okay. I think it's We're okay. Good. We're good now. It was just the intro. Yeah. Oh, man, my back hurts. Yeah, you guys want to check out some awesome swag? Check it out. High and Vape Form t-shirts and other ooh. stuff. Um, link will be in the description. Get you some. Get you, get you some. What up, Batman? Wait, I didn't know you were on the High and Vape Form show today. Batman, what up? <laughs> well, Louie, why don't you start us off telling us what you are vaping on today. After that, I'll do some shout-outs, and then we'll go into another buffet. All right, sounds good. First up, um, as is always, this is going to be an everyday thing for me. The uh, Loki Mods, a Seer, best mech squonker ever. Love this thing. One top, we got the Skyfall. You know, you just can't go a day without a Skyfall. Something new, something purple. So we got the Mako V2. Is it borrowed? Do yeah, no, it's not borrowed. Definitely <laughs> not borrowed. Little Tamascus button action going on there. Little purple sacro cat from Never Normal. That is a pretty mod. I just Dude. sold my clear V1, and Swaggins <laughs> is trying to get me to buy a V2, and I'm like, no, I this won't do it. Nice. This but it's is like pretty, bro. Really nice. It's small. It's rounded. It's comfortable. Every reason I didn't buy a V1 is why I bought the V2 because they changed the whole thing around. Uh, something else purple, of course. Uh, the Fusion Project uh, Aria. Yeah, That's my you know. mod. One of these days, you're going to succumb to my wantings of it. One of these days. One of these days, I swear. <laughs> I don't know what that's from. The Honeymooners, maybe? <laughs> uh, the Hussar V1.5. One of these days, Alice! One of these days. Isn't that how it goes? Yes, that's it. Right Alice. in the kisser. Right in the kisser. Oh, man. All why right. do I feel like it's like 5 a.m.? <laughs> I feel the same way. Probably because I worked 80 hours in one week. 80 hours in one week. Don't do it. I don't want to suggest it. Uh, we got the ballot from Visionary Mods, Marco. My man, and uh, and uh, he, he does not have coronavirus, so thank God. Um, something new, the flavor tank accessory, I guess you would call it, classify it. It's just a tank that goes on top of your flavor. RDA. It's basically an RDA cap. Yeah, basically with that holds liquid, and then uh, all reliable die codes, Hellfire Shadow, Noricum mods, Strybog, Strybog. I don't know. Sorry, Tad. Uh, <laughs> juices I'm vaping. Uh, JMA Designs. Uh, the Oatmeal Cookie. Uh, mm. Can only be one. Yes, of course. Good old trustworthy juice right there. Crooks. Because you're drinking coffee, you have to have some crooks. And of course, I think the most underrated of them all, Doppelganger. You just got to try this. Kettle Corn. Caramel. <laughs> we'll play it off like that didn't happen. Quit so, throwing uh, things, Louie. Butter baton, caramel, popcorn, so much goodness. And uh, that, that's me. Yeah, you take it away, Stan. Very cool, very cool. Let me run through and say what's up to some people in the chat here real quick. Um, people in the chat, you guys are awesome. I see you guys. Thank you very much for the compliments. Um, Dane, Bentley, Dane Bentley, what's going on, my dude? Robert Riggin, Uncle Roy Kirk. What's up, Bada? Says Sidefire is the best switch position. Cool. Agreed. James Ryan. Um, I love how Swags is just in chat and not on screen yet. It's because he's in a meeting and he's cheating. 
That's <laughs> he's in a meeting for his company and he's cheating. That's what he's doing. Stevie J, what's going on? Dude Reviews, welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. Been seeing you post up a lot of stuff lately. Ebby's in the house. Grand Prix. Jeremy Lane, thank you very much to our moderators for being here. Um, you guys are awesome. Uh, back in Black 1980, he looks like he's an RY4 guy. Chris Earl, how you doing? Sergio. 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 Uh, Gareth Martin, what's up? One-Eyed Vapor, nice. Uh, he says, refresh helps me good now. Yeah, um, if you, I, I switched, the, the people were complaining about the quality of the stream uh, visual-wise, so I figured out that a long time ago, I set the output settings to 720p, so that way we wouldn't have any kind of interruptions, but there's no reason why um, the system now being upgraded and everything can't push 1080 so I switched it to 1080 today. You guys are the guinea pigs. Welcome. Uh, but I did start to stream in 720. So if you've been here since the beginning, go ahead and refresh and to see if that helps anything. Jane Dodd is in the house. Fictitious character. My dude, Dustin Vapor. Welcome. Welcome. Taxi Jim is in the Taxi house. Taxi Jim. Taxi what Jim. Up, Ashton Palmer. Palmer's powders. You need coatings. That's the dude to hit up, man. He is doing some crazy stuff with some powder coating. Um, let's see, let's see. 808 Kevin, aloha, good sir, aloha. I'm gonna need you to send me a cool hat or two. I'll pay you for them, but I need some. It's if cool uh, hat. if you're in Hawaii, as I pretty sure you are, I need some cool like uh, tropical style hats. Yeah. Like something, something. Uh, I don't want to say like Maui Jim, but like something. You, Maui you, you Jim. get my, you get what I'm saying. I want a couple of cool like cool hats that you could only get in Hawaii. Not like tourist hats, like decent hats. Get a hat with spam on it. Like no, a hat made out of spam. And How about I just get like the kumquat hat with the pineapple? Okay. Yeah. That yeah. works. I'll, I'll 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 take that. Rock yeah. on, rock on. If you want to send a Stan a hat, it's PO Box seven one eight. Brookshire, Texas, seven seven four two three. You know the month of memes you would have named like made out. The Swaggins would have a field day with that. <laughs> That's just what I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna start just putting that on every stream that I do. If you want Stan to have cool hats, just send them to him at PO Box seven one eight. Um, very cool. Very cool. Backfire very very badly. Taxi Jim, I'll look terrible in it, but I'll totally wear a French beret for you, bro. Oh okay, no. Oh my, no. My vape is dead. Oh, um no. all right. So this evening or this today, this afternoon, this morning. Anyway, I'm vaping on the one gin. Well, focus, damn you. Why why is it not focusing? Oh, you turn out focus problems. I fixed mine. I don't know why I'm having focus problems all of a sudden. <laughs> What the hell? Okay, well, it looks like this stream's gonna have. Oh, there it goes. Um, this is the one gin R. Sorry, I said M earlier with the flavor tank on top of there. Uh, same thing Louis running. Only I don't have a, a little uh, awesome beauty TV. ring on mine. Oh, also, yeah. I'm running the Skyline on top of my Warlock's Ember for uh, my buddy Mark. I've been rocking his mods all week. Um, uh, Spagen says, let him in. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, let knock. Let him in. in. Oh, snap. Here he comes. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Ricochet <laughs> rabbit. Now I got to oh, fix man. the stream. Hold on. The I, myth. The legend. Vapor I got to fix the, the thing here, Swaggy Poo. Just Hello. a second, bro. Let's put your face right behind the high end logo here. Yeah. There you go. We love your face. Just, I love, love your, your face so much. We're gonna hide yeah. it behind the sexiest yeah, you know, logo. I gotta in the get game. some swaggins going. Grow that out, baby. Yeah, dude. Uh, you uh, twisted at the ends. I already got it planned out. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I'm sorry you had to come in late, buddy. Uh, but I am happy, happy, Me happy too. I that apologize. You, here. you know, sometimes uh, you can't be everywhere at once. You know. You're fine. Hey, bro. Work is work. <clears throat> you gotta do what you gotta do to I make that it. money, son. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did an eighty-hour week this eighty-hour week this week. So, hell yeah, Lou, Louie is a savage. I already every, knew this. Everybody, knows every this. bone in my body hurts. <laughs> Everyone. Let me finish up this uh, thing real quick, and then we'll we'll jump back sure. to Swaggin's case. Um, 
I've got the Submariner Stratum V5. V5, right? Yeah, V5. With the um, the Hussar V1.5 tank on top of that, which I am falling a little bit more in love with every day. And it's passed up my V1. I haven't touched my V1 in a long time now. Um, the Limo from DPM, which I do have another DPM mod coming. Uh, I went ahead and ordered the dot two. And then on top of that, I've got the Psychro with the larger in airflow insert inside. And last but certainly not least, I've got my die codes converted shadow uh, from Hellfire with the Hellfire, not the Maverick. I always want to call Saber. it the Saber on top of that. And that's what I am rocking today. Uh, five mods for no reason whatsoever. I just wanted some squonks today. Inside every single one of those, <laughs> inside every single one of those is Detox. From 5150, the crisp green apple creme brulee. Crisp apple, not green apple, same thing. Crisp apple creme brulee from Detox uh, mm. from 5150. So and I'll good. be able to talk eventually. I now have everybody at my work who vapes stuck on 5150. Dude, it's good. so You're welcome, Robin. So, so good. Give them our discount. <laughs> yeah, oh, they do. Right? They got it. They're probably watching the show right now. Hi, Brandy. What's if up? you guys want to try out 5150 or even check out um, the Stratum online retailer, which is one of our awesome partners. Be sure that you guys go to our Facebook group because there's discount codes and all kinds of goodness there uh, happening because both companies are amazing. Amazing juice. Amazing boutique. Thank you very much. Swaggins, it's good yeah. to see you, brother. It's you good too. to see you. I hope the quality is better on the actual stream. I, sw uh, I swapped it to 1080p for you, bro. I was just checking great. it out. That's why I was showing the Mako off. On, on the stream, it looks really good, really Does crisp. It? Yeah, really crisp, really clear. You can see good, all the I'm details. glad. I'm glad. You got it. Oh. Yeah. Tell us what you're vaping on. Uh -oh. What is that? You got this it. is the Mako V2, all blacked out aluminum. I kind of want a carbon fiber door, without any Mako written on it. Yeah. And another bottle because I cut this tube too short. But you know what I love, love, what love bottle, about baby? this. What is that oh, he, he gave you the Alton bottle too? Yeah, is the fact that it's a manual adjust the pin, reset. but I can adjust it from here. Yeah, the reset V2 510. Yeah. I love yeah. this 510. I'm really digging this mod. It's everything that I wanted. I kind of want another one just because it's so yep. simple, so small. They, he improved everything that I everything. wanted improved on. Yeah, everything buttons outside, smaller. I have a little issue where this button catches. I've had I a broke. few auto. I've had a few auto fire moments. I fixed it. How you gotta push it in really hard, and you'll hear like you might hear like a little snap, and then it. <laughs> ever since then, it, it's been working <laughs> fine. My break it, break I it pushed pretty hard. I, I, you know, what I found too. Is I'm a lefty, and this thing is perfect for a lefty. <laughs> Boom, right there. If I want to do know. a righty, then I hold it like this. Maybe when um Sebastian's on next week, I can ask him about this. But my Aria did the same thing. It would it would get stuck, and then I just gave it a really good. Well, Gian told me to give it a good push, and it just fixed all the problems. I guess it like aligns. I don't know what it does. Shit. What but did yeah, you just remind me it. of the oh, yeah. Octo bottles fit from X Star. Thank you, Shane. I'm gonna have to look those up. Anybody know where those retail? Vapor Forty Two have those. Octo Vapor Forty Two. I think um. It's the the Squonk America had a group by right now for it for those octo bottles. Group. Vapor Forty Two does have a lot of the same bottles that they have on the group buy, so I don't know if they have the. Octo I have a shit though. ton of bottles. I mean, I have yeah. I have cappies. I have the long sunbox cappies. I have D mods are the, the square same. ones from Mums don't fit. They it's hold the least small really there. amount yeah, of use. Too small in there, but D mods. Hold on, there, hold on. There's hold on. not um, um, enough space. Like this, the I don't know what it is about these, but the square ones from Mums are just like maybe a half a mil too big. I would use it, but it, he gave me an Altum colored bottle, and I just, just no. No, mine's clear. I wish I would have got a clear. How, how will Altum go with purple and black? Like that just won't look right. So I put a D Mods bottle in there, and it's perfect. 
Mac Tandon, what is up, you sexy Mac Tandon, my dude. My dude. Sorry, I was just getting some information. Um, so, in case you guys didn't know, Swaggins, well, I'm sorry, were you done with your... Uh... Oh, no. So, yeah, I'm going Dark through Dark. all of my shit. So, go, yeah, this is the uh, so the Mako V2. Love it with that little Tamascus button. I've always wanted Tamascus in my collection, and this is the most affordable way that I could add it. It's um, sexy button, too. Yeah, I yeah. love it. It's just all black with a little touch. That's my, that's my thing. On top, I got the Wicked by Wicked, I think, mm. by, by Fat Panda. And... Um, and inside of there, I have Tango Melon by Transistor, and I'm digging it. Um, I've got the One Gin R with the flavor, with the flavor tank, and I've been digging this so far. It just works. I'm really impressed. It just works. Um, very cool idea. Very simple. Nothing special to write home about. Um, but that's what's the innovation. It's simple. He didn't have to go crazy with it. Like the fact that more people aren't doing this is crazy. Um, sure, there are things that could be different, like a top fill or whatever, but for the purposes of how he made it, it just works. I literally haven't had any issues with it. I know some people have been fiddling, but for me, we're going to talk about it a little bit. Yeah, today. It's the difference, though, and we can talk about that later. But, anyways, yeah, that's what I got. And inside of there, I've got Pango by Transistor. And just to show you, this is why, this is the perfect example of why it wasn't a pain in the ass because I had one of these hanging around. Um, and last, I've got the One Gin M by Mad Beer Mods with the uh, S Addy on top. Ooh. And inside of there, I think I also have Tango Melon by Transistor. <laughs> and that's, that's what I'm vaping on. That's me. Thanks. Guys. I'm getting as bad as you, bro. I'm like detoxing everything. <laughs> it's just like that, tango and pango bro yep. it just works tango and pango. Tang, your tango shirt. melon is my detox is louis i Brooks. have detox <laughs> in something right now i just don't know what it is all right cool so here's the deal we got a couple of things we want to talk about today let me take a sip of coffee mm. i need to take a moment to express how happy i am that i have I have some stomach issues, okay? I'm not going to go into, like, problems, but I can't have high acid stuff. Coffee's very acidic. But I have discovered that I can drink coffee again as long as it's a mild brew and it's a like a light brew. You know what I'm saying? Not a dark, heavy brew because I used to like real dark, heavy coffee. Kona brew, a light, mild Kona brew is so good, and I'm so, mm -hmm. so happy I can drink coffee again, man. It doesn't guys, bother my stomach. Huh? I don't know if you guys get this coffee or not, but it's a Baltimore um, roastery, roast, roastery, or whatever, however, however you pronounce it. It's called Zeke's. Coffee place. Coffee place. They roast their own nuts, okay? And Cafeteria. Z-E-K-E, <laughs> -E -E, all right? Roast and, and they nuts. make some of the most it's such a smooth coffee and there's very low acidity that would be if you could find it i know k they make k cups out of it so if you go on keurig i know keurig.com they have um zeke's coffee there but yeah try that out. zeke it's really good all right so here's the deal we got a couple of things we wanted to talk about today um we've got all three of us got our flavor tanks in and you guys know we are all fans of the flavor rda Fan, and I'm fans a fan of, of the flavor art, huh? And fans of Adrian. Adrian. Yeah, and fans hey, of Adrian. Speak Welcome for yourself. But we're gonna talk a little bit about that thing. Um, got some. We're gonna talk a little bit about mod materials that mods are made out of, and a couple new things that are coming out. As well as, I want to answer a question that I saw in chat real quick from Savor the Vapor. Um, he asked, he said, I'm looking to get into high end and was wondering what's a beginner direct lung RTA to get for my first high end RTA. Here's the deal. I'm going to say a couple things and then you guys can jump off and, and give me your opinions or whatever. To our uh, mouth to lung. When it comes to, hold, when it, he said direct lung specifically. Ow. So when it comes to uh, these types of RTAs, stank. Most, <laughs> most of the time, you're not going to get a, a really great direct, like, a, I'm sorry, that's not that's not the right way to explain it. You're not going to get a really airy direct lung uh, vape off of a lot of these things. Um, there are a few that I've had, like the GT4, which is a very airy um, direct lung. 
Also, the the S6 from Vapor Giant is a very airy direct lung. It's almost the same deck as the GT4. Um, but if you want, if you don't mind a restricted direct lung, there's a bunch of it out there mm-hmm. that you can get. Dude, I and, think Stratum has uh, Sky Drops right now. Sky Falls and or not Sky Falls, Sky Lines. They do. Do I they really? The well, just in case you were wondering, and that's um, pretty open. If you buy yeah, and this I was gonna say the EVL Reaper V3, but well, they this have the direct lung direct and the mouth to lung version. Oh yeah, yeah. This is yeah. restricted direct lung though. Yeah. Um, the ones for a beginner that's trying to get into those types of RTAs that I would suggest uh, that are pretty easy to build. Um, would Integra be, restricted direct lung. Yeah. Well, but those are like really expensive. Um, both of those, the Skyfall is really expensive. The, so what the tanko? Uh, sorry, the skyline, huh? So what? Get a tanko? Well, no, 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 no. But but I, um, I I'm a real big fan of the whisper. I'm a real yeah, big fan are. of the whisper, and you can get different inserts for that to kind of open it up. Um, I'm also a real big fan of the uh, uh, what was the other one that I was gonna say? The Hussar V1 you can find gives yourself a nice restricted direct lung off of that. Um, for me, I- go ahead. What I did, what what I always suggest when people look for direct lung RTA to get them in the high end, and this worked for Reverend Vapes. Now Reverend Vapes is the now dwarf deep DL. down the rabbit hole of high end. <laughs> Shout out to Reverend Vapes, awesome guy. Uh, the dwarf DL, like that thing, gives you some good vapor, oh. some good flavor. And One second, easy to find. One second, I'll let you finish. I'm sorry. Kip Drippers, bro, it's good to see you, but I don't understand what the SHMMM is that you put in every single freaking live. What is that? He, you come on, you leave one one comment that's SHMMM. What does that mean? She goes, shm. Shm. Every one. <laughs> every, every show. I He's a superhero what now. Explain. His name's super, super poke. It's a what? Anyway. Um, Louis, go ahead and finish. I'm sorry, brother. Oh, you're good. No, I was just gonna say the um the dwarf DL. Like I, I it always people would always ask me in PMs, what, what's a good direct lung you know RTA? Either the dwarf DL or the um Typhoon GT4. Get the GT4 because guess what? The D, direct lung dwarf. If you don't wick that right, you're gonna get a mouthful of juice, and I guarantee you that you're probably just gonna be like, screw it, I'm done. I have never had a problem with it. Uh, Ra- Ra- not Ranger. Um, Reverend, he didn't have a problem. I, I don't know. You know what, though, what Louis? I think one you like. I had an I, issue with it. Pal I, had an issue with it. I'm just saying. You're going yeah. to get finicky RTAs. That's what RTAs are anyways, but more so in high end. You're going to have to give it a shot. But best bang for buck and tried and true and tested, everybody loves the GT4. Yeah, everybody. that is true. Everybody does love the GT4. And you know what? It holds its value enough to where if you don't like it, you can unload it, and it's pretty it's pretty sought after. So. Oh, stuff, yeah. the Hussar um, Project X. That's another one. That's got some good airflow on it. Yeah, I think, though, that Swaggin's point on the wicking is, legit, is a legit point to be made, though, Louis. Even though you and I don't have issues with it, I understand where Swaggin's can come from because – Swaggins is the um, he has even though people make fun of me for my waking, uh, Swaggins has actually he wasn't like a huge RTA user till recently, and so and Pal never used RTAs either until That's recently. True. So if somebody's switching to RTAs and they may have an issue with wicking or whatever, it may not be the one that they want. Like he has a legitimate point there. You know what I'm saying? The wicking ports are very big. The difference is, is like the mouth to lung is fantastic, right? And it's just a bigger version. Literally, they just scaled it up. So if you don't get those that wicking right, because you're pressing your wicks against these giant kidney ports, right? So if you don't do it properly, if you do too much, you're going to get shitty dry hits. If, I was just going to say that. Too little, even the smallest little bit too little, like it, it's going to suck juice in because you literally are using your wicks to block those ports. And they're suspended. They're not like poking them down to the ground and then p- pressing up against the sides, you kind of have to mold them around the yeah. ports. Yep. The Evil Reaper V3 can be finicky to whip, wick 
if you don't understand how that peak works in there. If it's you let the peak enough. Yeah. It's not airy enough for what he's looking for. And you know, it's going to so. be a restricted direct lung. Dane brought up a good one. And this is and this is if I know Origin Vapes has them. Um the Vapor Giant series. They always make That's what I was really just showing. Good. The Chronos too. I hear nothing but good praises about that. I know Mac and Chat has one. He loves a Chronos. So well, the S6 is the same deck as the GT4, kind of. I think it may have a little bit more airflow. I don't really remember. I got rid of my GT4 in favor of the S6. It is a tall tank, but I think it's a little cheaper than buying a GT4 if you can find one. Um, mm -hmm. If that still applies. It's been a while since I looked. But, yeah, no, there, there you go, uh, Saver. I hope that information helps you. It's a whole lot of information, plus or minus. But hopefully it helps you make a decision. Um, just all kinds of all kinds of opinions flying around here options. and i love all of them and that's um, the thing about high there's so many different things for everybody's different styles you know you're gonna hear some differing opinions on the show today about one atomizer so it's just what you want and nope. what you want and what you like and what you feel comfortable with and what you know you can do all factors into what you're gonna buy black rose brings up a good point too also the other thing is is looking at the aftermarket um, companies like steam tuners and stuff um, vapor giant the the s6 and stuff doesn't have drop kits and things like that available for it um, they don't really have parts available for it other get a than gt4 drip. man i think yeah. that's the consensus that's that it would be the best way to jump in try it out mm -hmm. really enjoy it and if you don't trade it for something else and so it's you don't not have to spend any more money and in the world of high end i i, I price bracket these things rtas at the 150 and under that's a inexpensive high end RTA for me at the one. It is generally, yeah. But yeah. I think that even outside of, I'll go as far as to say it is yeah. because you're not going to find a you're in that in that price range. You're not going to find uh, uh you're maybe a handful of mediocre, and in that handful, like a, like two really good ones. Mm -hmm. you now because that they're, they're going to hit all the spots and all like talking about resale value, tradability, stuff like that under the 150 mark. You're not going to find a lot. RTAs and high end are a huge investment. That's why it took me so long, and and I've wasted a fair bit of money. Um, it sucks that it's my favorite part. <laughs> not yeah, exactly. It's, it's, the, it's has, the most expensive. They have the 23 millimeter GT4 coming out. And that's the one I was waiting for because 25 was just too much. Most of my mods are catch cup, so they only fit 22 or 23, I should say. 23 millimeter type. To clarify further, you're going to find a large sleuth. There, yeah, a, a large amount of options under two hundred dollars for high end RDAs. You know, well, they're going to be uh, they're going to be a select few that are going to be two hundred or more that are going to be really worth it um, and really good. But with RTAs, you're looking at you know one fifty plus shipping um, or higher for yeah. anything that's if, really highly sought after. The really, average really RT high end RTA is about one eighty. If you're going to break say it all that down. He said that the information helped a lot, but he doesn't mind a restricted direct lung. If you don't mind something more restricted, then you're all you're in my zone, bro. Yeah. I can I can recommend the the stank is really good. The well, Hussar real. one. I was gonna one say five. I was gonna say if you're gonna start off and you don't mind restricted, the Hussar V1. This is actually an aftermarket cap on it. Um, but the Hussar they don't V1 make the V1 is V1 awesome, anymore. and you can get the V1.5 should still. I don't know if they still have them on Stratum, but check Stratum because I'll have check right stuff. now. This, this is one... what the V1 kind of oh. looks like with the normal cap on it. This is the V1.5, but this is even more restricted. So you're gonna have to make a choice there. But uh, I know you can find these on the BSTs for a better, for a pretty decent price. If you you know, you wanna get in at a lower cost. No, they're out That's of stock on, on Stratum, but I'm sure he'll get more in. And for $170, I mean, dude, this thing, it's just, I can't stop using the V1.5 and guys, it's a sexy RTA. Black Rose 397 said, how do you guys feel about bubble tanks on high-end rtas i don't like bubble tanks in general it i would i wouldn't mind whole... it if it was aesthetically made for it like if you have an aftermarket bubble tank that you put on a tank that wasn't because think about it high end is a lot about lines about yeah. aesthetics. aesthetics you know they, they want to look a certain way so you throw an aftermarket bubble tank on it and it just it may not even it may look like an eyesore but function over form I mean, in, in essence, we're not about function over form in high end. We're buying, you know, me, we're paying I, a lot I'm of money for things. Guy. Can you it's imagine like, a bubble tank on something like this? No. no. I mean, dude, yeah, I, I can. I, I feel like a bubble tank, like mm. you were saying, aesthetics. I feel like 
the tank needs to be designed for a bubble tank. You know, if you just throw a bubble tank on a tank that looks so sexy straight, yeah. Steve, it looks me, completely out of place. I've said this many times. Um, an, a, an RTA and RDA can be the best vape I've ever had, but if it's ugly, I just won't use it. I will use something with less flavor but looks good over it's something true, with true. the best flavor in the world because I, I want it to be pleasing to the eye. You know, that's why I always try and find atomizers that have best of both worlds, looks and performance. I wouldn't necessarily suggest the Theatro for a beginner tank. No, um, no. The wicking is just, it's too, oh, it's not complicated. It's just too finicky um, for, for somebody who's not used to wicking RTAs. Okay, so here's the deal. Let's, let's jump right into it. We're talking about tanks. Screw it. We're talking about tanks and everything. Let's jump right into this flavor. Um, this stank is awesome. Let's jump right into this flavor. The flavor RDA. You guys know it. There was a group by in the group. If you want to join the Facebook group, jump down into uh, the description and uh, check that out. There's also a Discord. It's not crazy active. There are a bunch of people in there, but it's not as active uh, right now. So if you want to be part of that community and help get it more active, then feel free. Awesome. Um, but with the Flavor RDA, awesome. Okay. Flavor RDTA, it was a Flavor RDA with more capacity. Awesome right and yeah. then he created this guy which is a cap that is a tank and it snaps down on top of the rda deck and it's just a cap and that's the tank on top and it's bottom fill okay it's bottom fill it goes on just like that it's under 100 bucks like 85 dollars or something um plus shipping and you know what the, f the flavor vapes like the flavor i mean it's it doesn't really affect the vape <laughs> it's uh, a it's like, a set airflow by the way too just yeah, no, it's but here's the deal uh, can we I, we need to clarify you can't get flavor rdas anymore so this is for people who have a flavor rda and want to get the tank and the tank will be limited as well one of the things i love about it because it's such a good rda and i'm like shit as much as i hate the fact that more people can't get them because it's such a good rda i'm kind yeah. of excited too because i'm like hey man you know, find one on the find one on the secondhand market. You can find. But he's still coming out with stuff too. It's like you can't. He's not making the RDAs anymore, but he's still making accessories for it. Mm -hmm. And I, I I dig it. Um, rebuildable Ryan. That's kind of not even uh like. Rebuildable Ryan says the flavor is nowhere as good as a Skyfall. What? And you know what? Like they're not really comparable in the sense, other than they're both. RDAs that kind of build the same way with six airflow holes. Yeah. Um, they, the flavor RDA has less airflow than the Skyfall. The airflow mm -hmm. set farther away from this, uh, from the coil uh, than the <laughs> Skyfall. It has less room in the cap than the Skyfall. It's the Skyfall the has Skyfall. adjustable airflow and changeable airflow inserts yeah. as well. So, I mean, you can adjust with a cap to two or one air hole, but you're not changing those primary air airflow holes. You're not changing the diameter of those holes. And I'm a fan. If you're a kind of person that likes a lot of air and wants to build, you know, your coil to suit, and then you're going to get a really good vape off of the Skyfall um, mm -hmm. with the larger airflow holes. With the flavor, you've got that set just small streamlined air to the coil you can put a larger coil in there to kind of uh get even more vapor out of it it's just going to make it hotter so there's a lot more playing with the flavor to get it the way you want it than there is with the skyfall there's more there's more leeway with the skyfall um so that's kind of where i'm at with that now the flavor tank oh. swaggins loves it right yeah i really I enjoy, enjoy it swaggins really enjoys it you know what I really enjoy it now, right now, because I don't have to fill it. Yeah. Um, I am, I'm going to put it out there. I'm not a fan of the tank section. Uh, and that stinks to say because of how much I love Adrian and how much I love the, the RDA and the RDTA. But I prefer currently the RDTA over this tank section. And the reason being is because it's a... Now, here's the thing. With me and design, it's the design is cool. Um, 
it's a single piece of Ultim that's machined out on both sides. Everything is in there out of Ultim. There's no extra pieces. There's one piece of stainless, and it's the cap with the chimney. It's all one piece. So the design is simple as all get out. There's nothing simpler. Uh, however, I... You want top this, fill. If, if this thing... I could get over... Uh, like another issue that i have with it if it was top fill dude was honestly do you piece, have a needle tip because i felt the same way until i cleaned this out and i used it and it just it's simple it, it it's it is what it is it's the way he had to design it and this is the way you fill it and but if you have something with a needle tip it's fine it works perfectly fine. i get it, it i get it and intended. i don't have a needle tip <clears throat> yeah there you go so i had essence, needle tips before but i had no reason for them i got rid of them right. a while ago if you had one on you you'd be like this is exactly where i'm sitting right now where you'd be like this is a little bit of a pain in the ass but i have this bottle and i can use it so now, you see, just, yeah you just like, get one you just i had i have tip. syringe i do diy too and i and adrian sent this little video where he takes the the uh, syringe off the 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 tube and puts it onto his gorilla bottle yeah the little yeah. tip and and that works too i did that it's just for me it's it's i know we say it like i always say this how the design is the design is the design that's how the modder designed it that's his idea and you should go with it i and i'm all for that it's just for me it's just one half so i just don't feel like dealing with it. i don't mind bottom fill in fact a lot of tanks i have a bottom fill and i, I love them it's just having to get the syringe out and do that and for me i i may have to still i'm holding the wrong tank i might still have to mess with it but i'm not getting the same flavor as i was off the rda and it's not because it's an rda versus an rta um well it kind of is there's there's naturally you're gonna yeah. get a, a loss of flavor with that much travel through a chimney as opposed to having your mouth right above the but pool. for me I, i'm not getting like I'm getting dramatically less like, and it could just be my wicking. I, I did. I wicked four times last night and one time this morning. So five times I, I've rewicked it. And with my I literally wicked it film, the way I would wick it as an RDA. I did too. And just pop this down. I'm using a two and a half millimeter three by 28 wrapped in 38 N80 alien. It comes out to point three, three at 40 Watts. And literally after it's saturated, you know, because I find that with juices anyways, I need to let the wick saturate and everything like that, that it was fine, you know. Um, and he says that if you use a three millimeter ID coil, that it'll it'll make it more restricted. So the, yeah, I have a the three way to get millimeter. A three. Yeah. I'm using a three millimeter ID at 0.25 at 50 watts and it's warm. It's flavorful. I'm happy with it. I waked it just like the art, uh, like I would the RDA, like you did, Swags. My really only issue with this is the the needle filling. Um, yep. Somebody in chat said he should just throw a needle bottle in with the package. That would be that actually would be the smart. Fix. And a drip um, tip. But the other thing is, is with all the oh, other yeah. tanks, the with all tips. the other tanks I got, we'll get to that. With all the other tanks I got and everything. I don't like. I don't want. I don't want to. So that's just me. That's it just me. Fit flush. I don't want to carry around a needle bottle when I've got other tanks that I could just fill with my normal juice bottle. You know. Um, so that's just me. If you're one it's of those people that has those okay. types of things and everything, it may be something for you. But let's talk about what Swaggins just brought up. Go ahead, Swag. Well, it's it's. Here's the deal, and hopefully people understand this. But I'll be harsh when necessary. So the fact mm -hmm. that I'm I'm being and this objective, is nothing I'm against being, Adrian. We yeah. love Adrian. Well, no, I'm being objective yeah. regardless. I'm being objective. Uh, I'm being objective as I can. I've had a good experience with this. If I didn't, I, I I can acknowledge the same issues that that Stan has with it. If I wasn't getting flavor off of this, those things would be like these are these are. It just adds to the my gripes, but. At the end of the day, it's an accessory for something that came up before, you know, that he's adding on to. So in essence, it's not like as harsh as I would be on an RTA that was coming out. If this came out as the flavor RTA and it came with a deck, et cetera, and that's the way you filled it and shit, I'd be like, yeah. why, you know, compared to what else is out there? But it's an accessory. So mm -hmm. it's, he made it work for how it needed to work to be make it as simple as possible. And it just works. That's why I'm impressed because it just works. Yeah. You know, the, you're right. It is an accessory. It is a way to make a RDA that you already have 
more functional in a sense that it can hold more juice. You can juice. put this on your RDTA. I still have the squonk pin in this, by the way. But if I put this on my RDTA, <laughs> so you can you'd have an RTTA that, that ha- it pulls from the bottom and from the top. Mm-hmm. Or you can put this on a squonk and you can squonk and have an RTA on top. So it's just like it's a very cool dichotomy in that ecosystem to add something like that. Because you could put this on the RDTA deck or the the RDA deck. Here's the RDTA. Hold on a second. Oops, I just shot juice everywhere. Look, (laughs) if you you really wanted to, you could (laughs) definitely do it. (laughs) <laughs> have two flavors man capacity. sucking one flavor up from the bottom and a different flavor is dripping down from the top <laughs> have one tail sticking into the tank and one tail that's some science the man that's some uh, but the the that's that's just i think it's a cool accessory to have yeah um and you know what uh also to clarify something somebody was talking about bottom fill i have no problems with bottom fill <laughs> as long as i don't have to use a needle tip yeah, I have. I'm with you, Stan. I have no problem Dude, with what? as long as I don't have to use needle tip. There are yeah. tanks that are more annoying to fill that are bottom fill. Like we'll say the EBL Reaper V3. That's more annoying to refill than this tank with the needle tip because you pop this off. You think so? And it doesn't drip out. You literally just turn it over. You fill it with your needle tip. It's full. You turn it over and you pop it on. You're good. With these, with with most of these bottom fills that come out bottom fill, even currently in the market, they have a chimney style, which brings me back to 2014, you know, where I have to, I'm basically limited by filling it up as much, as high as I can to where the chimney is. And then you're always only going to get, you know, say it's a four mil tank. You're only going to get three mils of, of juice every time. There's no way for mm-hmm. you to, you're going to always have that extra mil missing. I'm telling you, man, I would, I would honestly rather on those tanks have a needle. There you because go. See, there's people like there's people like you out there, man, and then there's people like me in the sense. So, yeah. so if you have a flavor tank and you're like swaggins, I will tell you it's definitely worth it to try. If because it it's not crazy expensive, it is a cool accessory. What was and it like? You, Seventy bucks. It was like eighty five dollars. Eighty five. Um. So and if it you doesn't have a friend come with a tip, so know that going into it because no, I forgot. It, it, it is I got it and I was like, oh shit, it doesn't have that new tip. It is picky with the tips too. Um, I got the Nvidia, and those all those tips work on here perfectly. There's no gap or anything. Yeah. If you have an every Nvidia, tip that I've put in here has had a gap. Literally, it's been a pain in the ass. But that's his tolerances. They've always been a pain in the ass. Yeah, his that, tolerance up here. Like I ruined a thirty-three dollar Omen tip. Oh, yeah, first, yeah. I first, I just got it. Carbon fiber with titanium. You know, a titanium inlay or whatever, and I put it in my flavor cap, and it got stuck in there, and I used a wrench. I finally used a wrench to get it out and ruined the tip. Mm -hmm. That's every one of his caps. It's going to be that way. I fucking hate it, but it is what it is. It is what it is. But this one, it goes almost all the way down. You see there's a little gap under there, and I'm just like, whatever. I don't care. It it is what it is. I'm going to have to use a pot pot holder to get this Mm -hmm. thing out. But it works. It, you still have your works. Nvidia flag. It likes short yeah. five tens. Use the tips on those, and okay. they work perfect. I'm using that. I'm just saying, flavor. if it's going to be like that, per- give a tip. With give it. a tip, Adrian. I love the Come new. On. I love the new tips that Adrian makes too. So I was really hoping to get one of those new tips. Yeah. Yeah. For the extra cost, just give me a freaking tip and give him a needle tip. If you make it, really make care, it, but make it a straight up hundred dollars. Make it a straight yeah. up hundred dollars. Put a tip in a bottle in there. Yeah, yep. and then and then uh, I think I think you'd fix. It. I would be a lot more, a lot more happy with it. Uh, not, not that I'm not happy with it. It's just it's got a couple quirks that it's just it's not really for me. Um, the vape is f- perfectly great, fine, awesome, just like I would expect from flavor. Uh, it's just if if you know make it a hundred bucks, put a bottle in there. I, it'd make everybody so much more happier. I think. Mm-hmm. I think it's the different. This is thing. a different gripe too. I don't think this is like. I think this is a more a more realistic request and more warranted request than like saying oh you only left you only put grub screws with it it'd be really great if you had flathead screws with the deck too when you when when, when i bought it that's a different gripe okay that's it's different than saying hey these are you know if you're going to have a proprietary way of filling this then you should just provide it not not make me have to go out and buy buy a syringe you this know, is I a true constructive this. criticism yeah i had this and it actually did it, t- it tastes a little shitty because i had nick salt in here before <laughs> but uh, this is the only one of these I have, so I just had to use it, right? If I didn't, then I'd be sitting here in a, in a You know what? I may have one of those bottles still. I'm going to dig around and see if I can find yeah. one. Cause... Look in your pod system boxes. It yeah. came with my zero pod, I think. 
Yeah, I'll dig around and see if I have one. But let's move on to a new subject. Um, mm-hmm. Adrian, it's an awesome, it's an awesome little accessory. Just uh, some constructive criticism, a couple little things, and it would be, re- it would be a whole mm-hmm. lot better. Uh, that would be, yeah. you know, really easy, I think, to, to but do. A- yeah, and and but good design though, Adrian. Uh, I mean, it's a cool assess. I would definitely mark this as an accessory mm-hmm. for your flavor RDA. Good, good idea here, and and I think. I think with those add-ons with the needle tip bottle and the tip. It can be expounded upon. It can be, yes. It'd exactly. be perfect out of the box. Just give me a tip that fits. And here's the deal, too. He's, he went as far as to give you O-rings for mm-hmm. your deck that you can change out in case. This is, some, this is a note for everybody here. If you get it and, you're, and your tank doesn't fit properly, just, uh... just use, the, use the O-rings that came with it, and you put those on your deck, and, it, and it'll fit mint. So he went as far as to do that. I just think that if it came with one of his tips, because not every tip will fit it. It's very tight. His resistances have always been very tight. His tolerances, rather. So just include that. And then you don't have. Then, then if anybody wants to complain about their other tips not fitting, it's on them. But at least you have a tip that fits it. I mean, Hussar doesn't give you a tip with some of their stuff, right? Maybe that's where he went on that, or he's trying to save in cost. But that's Hussar and tips fit. Other tips, like every other tip, I try to put fits nice and, and, and easy in there. Um, well, let's so. let's move on to, we yeah. have been, and I know Swaggins is pretty excited about this one. <laughs> Louie and I were talking about it before the show. The Stratum Balance. The Stratum Balance is a new mod. It's an 18350 or 18650 side-by-side that Stratum has come out with, OLC mod. And mm-hmm. um, it's pretty funky looking. Let me see if I can pick up the picture here. Uh, there's a couple pictures. So Swaggins, do you want to, Swaggins or Louie, whoever, do you want to give us a little background on it? Information? Sure, I'll just, I can, I'll, you know what? I'll read the, the product details. How about that? All right. So basically it's CNC'd, hand CNC'd every part. This is the thing about OLC. Even the battery, little battery doors that you have on the bottom. Um, do I have something around these? Even those little battery caps little Mm. screw-ins they machine everything so they hand cnc the body machine everything it's got a dna 60 in it you can basically go 18650 or 18350 um it's 316 stainless steel um it will hold up to a 25 millimeter oh whoops Um, i'm not even showing the pictures my bad pictures yeah and it'll hold up to a, a 25 millimeter but in essence i mean that's for bigger RTAs, I guess. But in general, I mean, there aren't really a lot of 25 millimeter RDAs. Well, but you can put your beauty rings on. Yeah, there. exactly. You can put a beauty ring on it. But basically, within the body of the mod, um, you know, hidden within it is ba- is the up and down buttons and the fire buttons. So where you may not see so, them, that's the whole point. And and the reason for the balance is to show right here, right? Stainless on top, black on bottom. Basically, that's how you balance it out. Or it's even on top and on bottom where. You can use that 18650 tube, and it'll match the weight if you it, the aesthetical weight. I you know, love the, it. Yeah, it's uh those are the buttons right there under the 510, right, swag? The two like, in the in, grooves. In the grooves. Yeah. Yeah. The bottom, the bottom there, the control buttons are you know it's a toggle system, so you left or right, up or down, and then that top one is the fire button. Dude, and the tube is Oops, actually so. removable to adjust for 18650 or mm-hmm. 18350. Yeah, there's a battery cap that'll come with it for 18350 or a tube, a stainless half a tube that you can screw on for your 18650. So I think and it's that it's a cool move by them for um all the like the the whole the whole side by side thing is a hot thing right now. Um a lot of companies are doing it. Uh, a lot of modders are doing it. And I'm this one is so simple and so cool. It, it's cool the way it works. I'm not a fan of the look really, uh, but I'm not the I'm not the you know end all be all judge. It's not my thing. These guys freaking love the thing the way it looks and stuff, and I think that's awesome. And I hope to hear about information when they get a hold of one, uh, whether or not it, it you know it's worth it to them. Uh, it's a fresh design. It's it is. Fresh. It's a different design. It's definitely different. And it sticks. It sticks with what Stratum does. You yeah. Know? And a few shops, How it's a Stratum mod. 
you and be able, you'll be able to find it at a few shops. I know Anushi's gonna have it. Oh, I'll see, rather. I know Giles. Um, he's gonna have it over in France. Um, Vape Store. Stratum's gonna have it. Stratum's gonna have it, of course. You know, but yeah, you'll be able to get it in Canada, states, or over abroad in Europe. So it's gonna be available everywhere. And what's the cost gonna be on those? What was it, two seventy? I think. No. I don't know the RRP. I'll be honest. I think Mac Tandon's probably going to get his hands on one. He's like a oh, side by side freak right now. You know yeah. it between him and Chris Gallagher. And they have they have textures too. And you be, you bet your boots that they're going to have more your textures in the future. Bet I got boots. some boots. I'm going to bet just to do it. it if sounds... they pull out that awesome filigree ornament style and they will. It they will. It you might know they will change my mind on a look. I'm just saying. Yeah, uh, but but hey, Stratum, if you're watching. Make sure to, that you put that that engraving on the the tube also. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say that's gonna be even more tube. expensive. Hey man, whatever. As long as it looks whatever. better, um, I think it'll be cool. So that's the new thing coming out from Stratum. Definitely it's interesting. Tiny. It's side so by tiny. Side. And that's uh, April second. April so in a couple days you'll be able to get one. So or Maybe. March second. March second, not April second. Yeah. So tomorrow. Sorry. Sorry, got my months all mixed up. It's all um, good. If we, oh, shoot, it's almost spring. I'm so stoked. I know. <laughs> and we haven't had no snow. First yeah. time in recorded weather history in Maryland that we've gone through the whole month of February without any frozen precip. Hey, and uh, it was a leap year. We talked about that mesh Addy on the last show, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to skip that. No, uh, I, I just, it's just an update. Um, March okay. 10th, are they going to be available? So you remember if you guys anybody missed the last show, go back and watch it. We talked, we went really in depth in the uh in the uh S sixty one Genesis Addy. Um they're gonna be available uh March tenth. So in one week, no, ten days, you'll be able to get yourself a mesh Addy. Shit, if they're sold guys out like mesh Jennies. So there you go. Um the price on them, what what is the price? Four thirty. Uh, oh no, that Jenny Addy, I don't know. I got I got it right here. Uh where is it? Oh, no, no. Well, why Louie looks for that, um, today wanted to get a little bit into the topic of mods and uh, the inf the differences between different materials mods are made of. Um, you guys see on here all the time, there's a lot of Black Delrin. Um, Stephen Garlington. Stephen Garlington. There's a lot of Black Delrin. There's a lot of stab wood. Um, there's a lot of stainless. And there's th some 3D printing. And so... <clears throat> Just out of, you know, sheer curiosity, what is y'all's favorite? I know everybody has a preference. Um, Swaggins, what's your favorite material to have a mod made out of? I know I, I know what yours is. We're going to hear yours too. But Swaggins, what's your favorite material to, uh, when you get a mod, a brand new mod in your hand and you're holding it in your hand, which one makes you go, damn, this is like, I just like it. Delrin and stainless. Delrin and stainless. <laughs> Yeah, like polished, polished Delrin and stainless. I mean, these are, these are non-polished, right? Mm -hmm. But Delrin, I really love because it's just versatile. It doesn't make it, it makes it's simple, it's clean. Low this is aluminum, but like so, I could go with this. But this is a, I mean, if this was Delrin, I'd still like it, right? Mm -hmm. But um, basically this right here, this would be my perfect. Like this is a polished white Delrin and stainless. Yeah. That's it. Delrin has a Delrin, feel to it. What? Best thing about Delrin is it, it's low maintenance and it doesn't scratch up easy. Yeah. You can always buff it out with some VG if you yep. get some scratches on it. Or if it or gets coconut oil. If it gets like coconut faded, oil. yeah, you can use a little coconut oil on it to kind of bring that bring back the black and the shine to it. Um, but Delrin has Delrin has that feel of like molded plastic only not cheap you know Clean. what i'm saying does that make yeah. sense mm -hmm. um like you can get like uh things that are from china like at walmart or whatever that are molded plastic and it it has that feel where it's kind of cheap but it feels durable you know delrin feels durable but not cheap if yeah. that makes any sense especially when it's machined as well as something like one gen yeah. does one gen and stratum olc stuff is machined damn it hellfire they do a lot of delrin there. Yeah, dude, the Hellfire one is is really killer. Um, but Black Delrin is just is so nice, in my opinion. 
but that's not Louis's favorite. Louis, what's your favorite? What do I always use? And I have a whole dresser drawer full of <laughs> stabwood blocks because <laughs> these are just as addictive to collect as mods are. You go on some stabwood sites and you just, oh, that's a pretty piece. I wonder what mod I can make out of that. So, yeah, yeah. I love stabwood. I mean, they're not as high maintenance as a natural block of unstabilized wood is. So you don't have to oil them every week and, and renaissance wax them every week. Like every three months or so, I just take some uh, some cutting board oil, wipe it down, take some micro mesh, give it a quick little white with some like 2,500, 3,000 grit micro mesh, renaissance wax it, and they're good. You don't even have to do that. You can do it yearly. Stab wood is really durable. But if you, that, high polish, like, if you uh, want that high polish, like Visionary Mods that, does. That luster, and if you want to protect it against. One thing stab wood will do is it will stain. So if you get like... If you're a messy dripper or you don't wick your RTAs right and they always leak and you let that liquid sit on your stab wood, it will stain it. So of course. That's, yeah, that's why it's important to put wood. the Renaissance wax on it because it gives it a barrier. That's again. why I don't like wood. But well, yeah, there's I, that. I love there's that. Wood. There's the maintenance. maintenance part of it, right? And then yeah. there's the part of it, the durability. It is, you said it's, it is not as, you can drop a Delrin mod and you may get a little nick or dent or something in the Delrin but you could totally crack your stab wood in half. If yeah. you, and that's the thing, too. If you snap, like, say, on this, right? <clears throat> this is Delrin, but this piece right here might be a, uh, an issue, right? Achilles point, Achilles heel in every the design. You know, everybody has, every mod has them, and it is what it is. But, I mean, obviously, it's not going to break from you just putting it down. If you snap this, you drop it, it breaks. That's on you, first of all. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you could more cost-effectively replace that body, in, in Delrin, then you're not going to get the exact same wood again. Yeah, and sense. not to say that stab wood is super fragile because it's actually very strong. I've dropped many mods. That's why I stopped taking them to work with me in the past. <laughs> in about three years since I brought a stab wood mod to work. Um, but I've never broken one. They, they're really, uh, they're pretty durable. You wouldn't, depend, now it depends on how thin they, they machine the, the stab wood. But for the most part, most modders make it pretty thick and they will survive a fall. You might get a, a bang up, but the best thing about stab wood is um, take some sandpaper and just sand away that, that little blemish, and it's good as new. So mm -hmm. that's what I like about stab wood. You can always make it look new. You know? Right. Um, you can do I that with collect. stainless, too. You can do that with stainless. You can yeah, sand down stainless, stainless and make it look better. Depending on how again. bad the dent is. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> my favorite... <clears throat> excuse me. I have... I only keep the mods that I really, really like. Um, and I have a hard time picking a favorite material. Uh, but I will tell you that my the material that I tend to want to carry around because of durability, the material that I tend to like the feel of the best, has been Delrin and Stainless. Um, I just, they, they just feel so damn good. They feel so... <laughs> high quality mm -hmm. and nice now what feels more high end to me and something i really freaking enjoy is stab wood and mm -hmm. stab wood has been a thing where i've gotten into a lot of lately i've got a lot of uh hybrid block and uh resin stuff not i mean this one this one i love this one but i would never take something like this to work you know yeah um but I feel like the maintenance can be an issue for people. And that's why this mod has become one of my favorite new mods because it feels so damn high end and got the CA quality finish and it's got that coating on it where I'm never going to have to touch this thing. Oh, uh, and I wish more modders did this 2k clear coating on their stab wood. Uh, I know you can get a matte finish as well for people that don't like the shiny. I'm all about the shiny. I think it brings yeah, out the depth. Here's the, the here's the same mod without the, the clear coat. Yes. You know, you, nice natural wood. Now, I have a visionary mod both with the CA finish and the natural. Mm -hmm. I prefer the natural feel of wood. To me, the clear coat feels like Juma. And out of everything, Juma is my least favorite material. Not to say that I won't ever buy a mod. I have a few Juma mods. I, and I, I do like it. It's just... 
out of everything, out of aluminum mods, out of Delrin mods, Juma is my la least favorite just because the way it feels. It just it's too slidey in my hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there oh, you go. Yeah, I got Juma's a cool resin, man. Yeah. It's yeah, cool it's just for me. I I don't like the feel of Juma in my hand. For me, well, like it's it can break that. easy too. It can break very easy too. Yeah, for me. And natural wood is just I love the way it feels. Thing. Okay. Um, there has been there's been talk about three D printing, and we may start a may start an argument here, mm -hmm. but I'm curious about what you guys think about three D printing because I'm going to show you guys a mod. And I know Louie has this mod, and Louie has the same exact mod in a completely different material. But this mod right here, mine is 3D printed. I don't even remember the name of it. Explorer XS. Well, that's just, that's just the Explorer um, Dubai version. Yes. I this have the XS. The Dubai Explorer with, it's got aluminum up and down buttons. This is the firing switch. It's got aluminum too, but it's all 3D printed. And it's that 3D printing that just, you can't see any of the printing lines it feels super high quality. Um, it it feels super high quality. I don't have any issues with it. I think it's sexy. Uh, this, in my opinion, is an example of a 3D printed mod that can be considered high end. Oh, now, yeah. that comment being said brings up the argument that a lot of people can have. 3D printing isn't high end. Or can 3D printing be high end? In my opinion, when I get a hold of something like this, the answer is yes. He told me how much that 3D printer cost. And just from the cost alone of that 3D printer, it makes it high end. That that printer he got is one of the most expensive things. Oh, I yeah. Think. He definitely is using something super high quality to print this with. Straight I'm not going to lie. Vitaly is in chat. I'll tell you what. 3D printing can be high end, but you don't need to be busting, the, busting a nut on price, okay? Because yes. this is a perfect example. BMM as highly sought after as they are, as high end as they are, then they are high end. They're under three hundred dollars, under three hundred dollars. You can get it kitted out. You can get your, you can get your, you choose your face plate and your buttons and your beauty ring and tip if you want it all matching, and it's still going to be under three hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it, access. A three D printing should be, you know, as revolutionary as it is because I like three D printing because there's a lot more you can do with in, with injection molding, if you will. It's like it's like an injection molding, except you're basically building it with a, forming with a it. yeah, you're forming it. From the but, out, you're, yeah. you're, but in essence, it's access. I think three D printing should be more. There should be more of it, you know. But it should continue to have a price that's accessible. It should be sub three hundred dollars because you're not finding a lot of you're not finding a lot of variety for one. And you're not, and you're not finding a lot in general of sub three hundred dollar mods that are what people are looking for, mm -hmm. which is like, like a twenty one seven hundred squonk. The tiny volcano you had that was three D printed, and that was too much money. Yeah, <laughs> I was just gonna make that as a um as an example. Yeah, that well, was just, like four hundred and fifty dollars. You know, it should be a hundred dollars cheaper because it's gonna die codes in it. That's about the, it. Mm -hmm. We talk about high end and the fact that like some modder sat around and some modder sat around and hand formed this piece of wood and took his time to make sure everything fits and put it together all by hand you know no cnc machining and things like that um some things are cnc machined but we know that one gen madbeard mods we know that he sat there and he hand sands freaking the pieces and the parts and like make sure everything is clean and fits together before he actually makes it into a mod now people think that that doesn't apply to 3d printing and i'm going to tell you that i do 3d printing as a hobby on the side <clears throat> i have my own 3d printer i've got stuff that i've printed immaculately and i've got stuff that i've printed absolute garbage okay alumide somebody said something about alumide alumide is just another one of those really high-end uh finishes that i like a lot um but that on the other hand 3d printing takes a lot of time and a lot of patience and a lot of paying attention by the person that is actually programming the 3d printer and adjusting the settings on the 3d printer making sure that the the uh <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, making sure that the uh, material doesn't dry out, making sure that, you know, the layer heights are proper, making sure that it, it sits proper on the bed, 
um, making sure the temperatures stay correct, and then going through and cleaning up after the three D printer uh, just oh, to make, make sure, sure the cables that, level. Like that's like the tray that actually yeah. prints. That's like one of the most. That's one of the biggest mistakes people make is they don't take the time to make sure the tray is level. Right. And that's, that's a big point. part of it, actually. Yeah. Calibration. And, yes. Calibration. But uh, there's there's a lot that goes into 3D printing that I don't think a lot of people that have never really seen it or done it understand. And, uh, and they, when you can come out with thing. something this quality from 3D printing, it blows my mind because I can't achieve this quality. A lot of people don't understand this either, <clears throat> how much those machines actually cost. Sure, you can go to Fast Tech and buy one for $500, but you're not going to get a 3D print like that Explorer. Uh, it's just not going to be anywhere close. Um, some of these 3D printers that these monitors are using are upwards to a quarter million dollars. Like, no joke, that's the, that's the price they're paying for these 3D printers to get the quality that that mod is... Uh, is is uh what's the word i'm looking for exuding <laughs> but yeah right. you know, they're, they're not cheap technically 3d printing the process of heating the filament is extruding so hey <laughs> no. these no. these these really expensive machines are extruding high quality 3d printed product and that's the thing i mean even a five thousand dollar machine know. and i've i've worked in education in the past um, you know, and you have elementary schools where you have kids working on 3D printers, and even these machines are five to ten grand. And it takes if you're going to get a high quality product out of it, a lot of calibration in the front end, knowing the software, another thing, and then the time to print it. And mm -hmm. if you have an error, you have a 24 hour print on one mod, and there's an error halfway through, or even three Scrap quarters it. of the way through, you're fucked. Your whole day's gone. Yeah. Well, and and. Also, you're talking about extruding um, the extruder itself. It needs to be set up a certain way depending on the material you're using. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like, if I tried to print something with metal in it uh, through my extruder, it would ruin it completely. Yeah, and some uh, people don't even know you could 3D print metal. Like, yes, you yeah, can. with an indu you could you could 3D print houses. They but that's like you're talking a hundred million dollars for a like a truck size 3D printer that literally. Yeah. You put you plug things in, and it's a big tube with concrete, and you just plug it into the machine, and it goes around and literally lays a foundation for a giant office building. Yeah, so it's this pretty is insane. Like, it's pretty insane stuff. It's it's a really think cool. About, think about it this way too, like editors. Like when I was working in film in my twenties, I would sit in the room and I would I would fill up these JC apps job completion forms because I was working pro bono basically, this nonprofit, and. I would write these JCFs and it would say for two hours worth of work, it was like 10,000 an hour or something like that based on the, the machinery I was working and the, the knowledge it requires to work in the software. I mean, so think about that too. So it's a lot more, there's a lot more than you think that, that, that comes in line with this industry standards for, you know, having the knowledge to work in these softwares, to, to be an engineer, basically you're engineering in a 3D environment and then you're taking that to the next step and you're printing it. So you have to calibrate that machine then you have to wait for the for the product to finish i mean there's so much there it's worthy of the price but once again still i don't think that you should see a 3d printed mod for 500 plus dollars well that being said we talked a little bit about 3d printing uh, and stab the, wood um, go ahead picture i just sent you in the goonie chat my buddy stefano from loki mod sent me a picture of a halfway finished um a sear out of aluminum and it gives you a good reference of, of what they look of what a any model would look like getting you know machined out whether it be cnc machine stab wood or aluminum um it's a pretty cool picture yeah there's a lot of uh, a lot of programming and, and information and stuff that goes into you know doing these types of things and it, it's just really cool shit. and it, it happens with cheap stuff too but the quality and the time spent paying attention to what uh is actually happening is where the difference happens um <clears throat> i wanted to talk a little bit about a couple of different materials out there that i have noticed um they, they've been around they've been around and i've seen one mod made out of one of these materials and it's amazing and then i'm a member of like block kinds of facebook groups where i've been seeing some other material and the material i've been seeing is called fordite Mm -hmm. um now i've seen this material in the past and i think okay don't don't go ahead and correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure what it is is it's 
paint that over the years, and it's called Fordite because I believe the original blocks they pulled out of the old Ford uh, Ford manufacturing line uh, uh, where they used to manufacture Ford cars. And what it is is paint stacked on top of paint, stacked on top of paint, stacked on top of paint that is just like kind of excess paint, all different colors, and they cut it out and make it a block, and it just makes these layers of amazing, like colorful craziness and they cut it and they make things out of it. Now, does it have lead in it and stuff? I have no idea. Um, you're not vaping on it, so it's just the block and they seal it. I know that, they stabilize it. But uh, <clears throat> it's freaking cool, man. I think it makes a killer, killer mod or anything that's made out of it. Um, but the reason why I bring that up is because in the High End Vape Forum Facebook group, which you guys can check out in the description, uh, there was somebody posted a mod called the Elaine. I believe. Yeah, from JB, the same guy who makes the Mako. Nice. Okay. Yeah. It's made out of Mirkarta. I believe it's called Mirkarta. Mirkarta. He did that with some of the bodies, I think, too. Yep. The Holy first batch movie too, yeah. of Mako. I'm not a huge like fan that. of the look of it. Because... You don't like it? No, it looks not like the plastic, colors he but... used. Not not with the colors he. There was a red and black one that looked pretty cool. But think about the peasant. Is that what the peasant? You know, the peasant that looks like Damascus that. J Roller just got. Is that what they used for that, or is that aluminum? I'm not sure, I'm not man. Sure. All I know is that I freaking that black and white Mirkarta is so so sexy. I mean, it was just I thought it was Fordite at first, just because it's the same kind. Of, it looks like it's the same kind of process, um, but it was so sexy. You have a Fordite panel for one of your BMM mods, Robert Riggin. That's awesome. Mirkarta, yeah, right, Victor. That Mikarta, Mikarta, whatever. It's something Carta starts with the Nim, <laughs> and it's freaking sexy. And I'd be damned if I'm not already looking for a block of that stuff just to hold on yeah, to. Yeah, Victor. Victor case. says Mirkarta. Yeah. Mea culpa. Got Mea it. Culpa. <laughs> Mea culpa. But you know what? Let me see. Let me pull up the picture real quick. That it's just worth taking a look at. It, it's it's amazing. It's sexy. Uh, and oh, it's right here. It makes me want. A, it makes me want a block just to purchase, um, just to hold on to. So let me adjust. I have to adjust. This. I can see Stan very soon having a, a a Louis drawer of blocks, just a drawer dedicated to different blocks. Yeah, you know what, Louis the turd face has gotten me into stab wood and blocks, and it's just uh, you're a turd for it. This is the mod right here, and I am a huge fan of this look. I am a huge, huge fan of this look. Yeah, Tony Mitchell says Mirakarta is amazing. It's basically layers of cloth and resin. We used it for electrical uh, insulators and high voltage equipment. So there you go, some backstory on it. Nice, very nice. Tony Mitchell's a cool dude, man. He's, yeah, he is. He's very knowledgeable. Um, but yeah, no, I'm I'm really into that stuff. And if you know where to get it, you let me know in a private message or something, because I'm down. Really cool, and, and Evan over at JB, <laughs> he's an all. Not only does he love Tool like like I do, so he, he's got good taste in music. But his designs for the the mods he makes are are great. Um, and he takes care of you. I ordered my, my Mako. I ordered with a carbon fiber door. He forgot to make the door for me, so without hesitation, he made it in one day and mailed it out to me. So Bill Hubbard said, "Me shopping Carta doesn't like me Carta." <laughs> <laughs> me shopping Carta. <laughs> nice, Bill. Nice, Bill. Well, is there anything out there? We're getting close to the end of the show. Um, sorry you had to come in late, Swags, but I'm really happy that you showed up. Dude, I'm so happy you came by. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, no problem. Louis gonna blow you virtual kisses in the Zoom. I afterwards. will already tell you that I'm looking forward to the Strybog. I oh, am too, yeah. man. That should be coming soon, right? We all ordered one. I have no idea. Okay. But we I'm all ordered one. Louis getting them. Very okay. soon. <laughs> so we have to wait even longer because they're coming to Louis. Um, so you, you guys you make sure you make sure you tag Louie in posts and send him messages saying, Hey, get those guys their damn strybogs. Yeah, it'll happen. <laughs> it'll happen. I promise. And, and, and if you guys aren't a part of uh Norca mods group yet, then just join the group. The links in the, uh, in our group, the VF, he's got some really cool stuff coming out for the strybog. So DLC. 
did, did, shh, don't say that. I'm just <laughs> hope, I'm hoping because I, I want to DLC too. all the things. We're trying to, we're trying to yeah. The, uh, he just made a polished cap for the Star As soon Ball. as Ashton figures out how to DLC, I'm going to literally send him everything that I have. Is that an electro electronic process? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like it's, a, it's a coat. It's a it's a diamond like carbon coating. Literally, you take stainless whatever and you and you coat it and you bake it in. It's not like uh, it's not like chroming. Where... No, I don't. I, I don't it know. Won't flake off like chroming. Where right? No, I'll tell you for for real. Like my Jenna is DLC'd, and literally the day that well, I got is... it at the convention, I dropped it and got a nick somewhere. Right That's there, DLC. and it should be a black nick because it's, it's literally just like a. It just looks like a nick in. It's like a. It's like it took a little chunk out and it's DLC underneath. Yeah, so. it should be baked into the material itself, unlike chroming where it's just the outside. Yeah, it is very cool. It didn't uh, flake off. It just took a gouge out. Shadow Link dark. favor said, "Dude, I'm with you. I need DLC on everything." <laughs> yep, it's a really literally, cool coating. Everything really I want DLC. I would like to see the process. Um, yeah, I would just... enjoy that actually. It'd be cool to get someone on the show who actually does it for a living, does the DLC process to explain it to us. The whole that would be really cool. Let me DLC my number three Narca. <laughs> Dude, you you should do that for one, and for two, you would probably get so much hate from the hardcores. <laughs> I D <be> G A F. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hey, thank you very much for being here. I greatly appreciate it. I know these guys appreciate it, too. Is there anything you guys want to say before we get out of here? Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Make sure yeah. you guys go and subscribe to Louis Nicolette's High End Showcase. Oh. For, uh, cool little videos he does. And uh, if you want to check out some uh, videos, 15 seconds from uh, from a year ago, check out Vapor Swaggins. <laughs> yeah, when I make it to 1,000 subs, I'll start making videos again. <laughs> How about 15, that? 15,000 and, uh, and, and uh, 1,000 patrons. Mm -hmm. He'll make videos again. I make porn on Patreon, so if you're interested. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a link there directly to his OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. only fans yes <laughs> you guys stay safe you guys have a fantastic rest of your week and week whatever who cares and oh, remember Sasha decide to join us you're late brother coronavirus or no coronavirus no excuse Sasha is the same time every other Sunday my dude <laughs> dude coronavirus man the United States just had its first coronavirus death and someone yep. said that it it's that it was found at one of the sorting centers, U.S. Postal Sorting Centers. So keep your eyes out. You may be uh, not getting your mail, and don't don't be upset because would you rather have coronavirus and your vape and then die or wait until there's no coronavirus on it and live? I choose the latter. Yeah, yeah. If my Strivo got held up, I'd be okay with it. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I forgot the whole. Ready? Here you go. Oh. Hold on. Vape on, friends. Expect no limitations. Except no imitations. Get it right. Swag that's a cool hat, bro. Just saying. Thank you.